what is up guys how you guys doing it is episode 11 i'm your boy flip access aka rai rai um yeah here's the other guys is anisian and ibrahim how you doing doing good yo what's going on yeah it's a good it's a good afternoon guys uh you know nice weather outside over here at least for us uh hopefully you guys are seeing the same thing on your end all right that was good uh yeah i have my windows open i have like my blinds open so uh people watching this can actually see how bright my screen is uh well for us it's uh, at least for over here where i am yeah it's pretty bright as well uh not too hot not too cold it's probably actually pretty perfect yeah so i think we thought we wanted to start this um recording with a little bit of a message uh do you guys want to chime in on that Regarding what? Well, what we want to talk about is what's happening, uh, especially what's happening in the U.S. Uh, with the Black Lives Matter protest. Um, I know that Nissan had a couple things to say, so we'll start with him. So go ahead, Nissan. Okay. All right. So first thing is first the protesting, all that. Support it. If people want to protest, we want to make the voice heard. I'm okay with it. Plus, it hasn't been like very violent, so that's nice. And it's also very interesting to see that the whole world's actually getting involved in this right now. Hopefully, it just lasts and it doesn't blow over like the usual ones. Because usually, there's a cycle to this. Black men get shot, people get outraged. Then, by the next month, it's on to the next thing. I'm starting to see that now with the PS5 coming out, with the NBA. Like, people are already trying to move on to the next big story. So I'm just, hopefully people remember what the issue is and keep on protesting. Because if we stop and we just be quiet again, it's just going to keep happening. All right. So, yeah, um, I think it's uh, pretty insightful that you do have a lot of people who are joining on to the board with this message. Um, you have a lot of big celebrities who are taking in with the, I think what they're calling it is, I take responsibility, if I'm not, not mistaken. Um, the fact that you're getting a lot of big voices being overheard getting and that and protesting that? well protesting, like demar rosen and demar rosen was protesting kendrick was protesting yes exactly so yeah. when you have that especially like i said some big celebrities who are voicing on that message uh what that happened what happens is you're getting that relational sh- relationship back saying that he's supporting it what what's holding me back well what's what's their mindset on these things and it gets you know it gets you thinking because you're I'm trying to understand those people who you follow and everything that look you know a fan of it gets it get that relationship back it's a two way street now right so uh I think that this sort of understand like as a start at the very least with the celebrities it's a good it's a good uh direction yeah hopefully at last mm-hmm. it's uh it's gonna be a process thing I don't think it's gonna be a one and done kind of thing oh it's not what is that? Like, no, you like, will have to. The whole, like, it's going to be a communication yeah, thing. You will have to. You will have to talk. You, I think, talking is the best method to um, resolving these. This is like this is not a like it's been going on a long time, guys. Um, this about racism is real. Yeah. Um, you know, I we've all seen it in a way, whether we you know can remember or not. I'm, I can guarantee you it, or whether you, you believe it in it, I would say. Um, it is a thing, you know, but the best way, I think, in my opinion, is to start talking. Start talking with your peers. Start talking with um, friends, right? Get your point of view. Talk about your experiences, you know, get them to relate back. I think it's all, as soon as you, you start with that relationship back, you are already part of that change. Yeah, that's from me at the very least. Anisa, any you want to end off with anything in particular? No, I'm good. Just everyone stay safe out there. Be careful. Yeah, like yeah. you said, keep having the discussion. Yep, it's a very important piece. Once we stop it, you know, we won't be able to go, you know, you break the chain of communication. What is that thing called? Uh, I was going to say a hot potato, but it's not hot potato. Uh... Wow, I'm just forgetting broken telephone. Like, wow. ah, 
isn't it? I would say so. Yes, I guess. Okay. Like, and then the message gets lost, right? I don't know. Until that's, it happens that's again. how I see yeah. it in terms of when you want to start a movement, right? So yeah, get a, get get you know, get talking. I guess it's what the message is. Start off this broadcast. A uh, broadcast, broadcast, podcast. <laughs> Right, and I think yep. uh, um, actually what you said was pretty interesting. The distractions, uh, especially with the NBA coming up, actually, uh, it's a uh, that's a good point. Um, and you know, you know what? Just to start off, we're going into the NBA. I think um, as some of you guys may have heard, uh, some protesters, uh, sorry, some NBA players are not in support of returning of the of the, of the NBA. Um, saying that we have to put our attention towards what's happening with the protests. Um, big one is, uh, in my opinion, is Kyrie Irving. He led like a 90-man conf- conference call or something like that. I'm not sure if you guys heard that. I think that was pretty interesting. Um, the fact that he's saying that, um, you know, guys, this this probably should be put on hold. Let's focus on what's going on for us. Because then that what happens is then you're kind of, um, you know, taking away people. the attention, right? Yeah, yeah. I think the fact that you know us being in quarantine, right? Cause yeah, I think not this, having yeah, this popped off because so, yeah, the city did pop off because like there's there was people were distracted, so mm-hmm. people were actually to focus and see horrible things happening. Like, what the hell? No, I so, um, I think it's a good. He does drive a good point at home. Like, the fact that, you know, this is probably the wrong time. Just because you can start doesn't mean you should start. You know what? I'm At first, when I first heard him saying that, I was just like, what? No, bring the NBA back. But you know what? You think about it. You don't, you know, you don't say anything. I'm just like, you know what? I'm kind of seeing his point, right? And I, I for one, you know, in the past, I've never really... Uh, a guy to agree with Kyrie. Um, That's what I think it is. I think when it came from Kyrie, people could ignore because it's Kyrie. Yeah, I mean, Kyrie like, has a reputation. But then, like, like, I think it was when I think it was when it was the White Howard that, when the White Howard spoke up. I think that's when people started to like really pay attention. Well, because the White Howard's like, I don't even want to win a championship right now if it means we're taken away from, like, taken away from the subject at hand. No, yeah, exactly right. Oh, speaking of championships. Uh, as of this recording, yesterday was the Raptors win a year ago from t- yesterday, right? Do you guys, do you guys remember? It was uh, yes, yeah, that? It was, sure yes, it was all on. It was all on. Uh, it was on Instagram. Everyone was talking. About, except Bleacher Report. I hate Bleacher Report so much. <laughs> like Bleacher Report is full trash. Oh my god! Well, like the only thing they post on it was like from Kawhi's point of view. They wouldn't even give the Raptors credit. Sweet Bleacher Report. Well, again, it was a team sport, but um. Very quickly, do you guys want to talk about your experience with the uh, the Raptors parade when they came back from the championships? Ryan almost got shot, so that was the thing. <laughs> Ryan, what are you saying about that? I mean, we didn't, we weren't there. We were in the vicinity. Like we were pretty close, but pretty um, close. We were. No, I just want to say real quick about the BLM movement. Um, yeah, because you guys kind of just like went past that. Uh, real ah, quick sorry. for. Uh, BLM, BLM, sorry. Um, if you guys, anyone listening to this, um, just make sure, like, even though if you guys don't experience it, um, at all, like, you know that there are people that are living in hardship, and those are the people that we have to fight for, we have to, um, get their voices heard. If they can't get their own voices heard, we have to become their voice, right? Um, if you do like the little things to support the cause, uh, those are what matters. Even if you make like the smallest donations, um, you even share some posts um, that spread information and stuff like that. Um, that helps the movement. That helps raise more awareness. Uh, just make sure that whatever information you're spreading or whatever you're sharing is um, legitimate inf- information. It is. The same type uh, of information that you want, you know, your closest friends and relatives who may be suffering um, from discrimination or uh, racism or anything of the sort that 
um they can benefit from it it's not just something you're posting just to post just because everyone else is posting it uh it's also been about a week and a bit since uh, what is it, blackout tuesday right and mm-hmm. even, even a week and a bit it's yeah. a week and mm-hmm. tuesday was, tuesday yes i would say about two weeks almost and yeah, yeah it's been a bit and you can already see that a lot of the information it, uh, regarding the blm is uh slowing down right since out, yeah. since that day on tuesday like yes a lot of it like there was a big movement that a lot of people are spreading good information and it was really gaining momentum there but since we are in pandemic like you know and there's more and more new news like regarding the nba regarding like yeah uh new consoles coming out because we're all gamers um coming like upcoming anime um you know new shoe releases all stuff like that just make sure that we still know what we're fighting for uh these are things that you know we don't actually need uh the the basic needs that people actually have to have aren't being met like by the government and that's a really sad thing to say uh so that's kind of why we have to you know spread this type of information around and that's all i kind of have to say about that but yeah. also spread the awareness you guys want to you want more awareness watch that uh netflix thing that dave Chappelle did on on youtube it's pretty good on like youtube 46 yeah 846 is called yeah okay like netflix recently like a little thing where like dave Chappelle talks about it so if he just like vents his frustration no i actually haven't seen that either it's really good. Yeah, she has like some, like says some stuff like you weren't aware of like how bad it really is in the U.S. for some people. Mm-hmm. No, I've yeah, I've definitely heard stories, especially upon uh, from people I know from over there. So I, I can relate. I can't say I understand. I don't as I don't live in the U.S. So, but I can relate. Definitely can relate. Yeah, I think we covered it late. It's just that yeah. Just over there, it's a different type of system. I agree. I yeah. agree. I agree. Well, it does. Ha- it does exist in different places. Um. Yeah. The voice. The message is very strong, coming from from the states. That's correct. Um. I. If I can, I'm trying to come back to where I was asking. What was my question to you? Right. We were. We were at the. Well, first of all, we I still didn't have a thing on uh, the NBA with like Kyrie and stuff, but I think a lot of players they kind of feel the same way, like where they wouldn't want to play a basketball right now because, like, in a sense, that it was going to be another distraction for people. Right. Um. Even then, I think my opinion is that they could play. A lot of people want to finish, and a part of an organization, yes, they can do it. Um, but they could still okay. show support while playing right yeah, you can sure. still I feel push, like it depends on they can push the movement like it depends what yeah like what type of actions they want to take it no, also depends a... on who the players that are standing up like if lebron says yeah i don't want to play they're not playing a season <laughs> you think so if lebron yeah if lebron if, yeah if lebron's like i'm not playing you think they're gonna do you think they're gonna play i don't know if he has that sort of i think he has that pull I don't know. But you know what? Rather than Paul, I would agree that he would be a very good influencer. Right? Like, I don't like, under their expectations. Like, I'm not mad at the NBA if they do or don't. Like, I don't really care. I'm just saying don't get a distract from the issue. I like, think, if they want to play, let them play. If I think they they're, play, they're okay. still going to play. If the NBA as a whole still wants to play, even if a player like LeBron says he's not going to play, um, they're still going to have it with however many people. They, they'll have benches playing. But everyone's gonna say the whole season is actually a wash, like you know, because yeah, like a random team was just gonna really win, right? I mean, they have to finish it. They have to say someone won this year. Like, uh, we're just gonna like go a little bit off topic. Like, like say like this this year, to. a lot of places, like a lot of like awards and stuff, aren't gonna happen. Like, who's gonna win? Like, like not just NBA, like movies. Like, what's movie of the year? No one knows because like, yeah, no one watches I'm, movies. Like, Right. But to be fair, like as I'm saying, like 2020 is a wash year. Like this whole year is a wash. So, like, like something real. Like something like, real happened. They will have like, to. Something real happened. 
they will have to name like they're gonna have to name like you know a a game of the year well i mean like gaming isn't super affected but like you know they'll have to to name like you know uh, mvp they have to name six man of the year even though they play stuff like that they have to they have to because like like what's gonna happen yeah they still play they played most of the season they played most of the season right yeah but like Hold from on. a title, I don't guess from like a title, like money standpoint, I guess, but like from just like it is, cares about and it six is about, of the year, it is about like money. All these things. Yeah, I was saying like who because cares about like six of the year and all that stuff. Like, it could like, be a random person not. that wins it, but in the end, that random person that gets you know six man of the year is going to be paid more. There's the next contract. Hmm. No, I, I, like I, I, like I see where like, everyone came to collect. It's like point. yeah, this is yeah, but I'm saying if people just like understand like this is not a normal year. It just like it's not it's not nope. people understand but like that there is a title and the title comes with you know privileges okay so you know what i can see where ryan's going um the fact that the show must go on is a thing right but at the same time what you said was you said yes it's not a normal year things will have to be adapted you know what going even for this season and honestly speaking for the next seasons to come things will have to be changed right um, we're definitely going into unterrito- uncharted territory with this whole thing. Uh, stats almost mean nothing at this point, almost really. Um, but you know what? The show must go on. You can't really hold things back. You'll have to start sooner or later, right? I know. It's like, like there's a whole asterisk on the season anyway already, so it's like. But... Let the season end. It'll be a good learning experience when we start next season. We're going to be seeing some new things, in my opinion. But right? okay, here's the thing. Even when it starts, I feel like when it starts back up, it's still not going to feel the same. It's going to feel like we're playing a whole different season. I agree. I agree. No, it's we going to be a different gonna... season. It's going to be a different season. People have been training this last three months and not training. So you're going to see who comes in heavier or lighter with more yeah, muscle, so less like, muscle. You're going to see who's was, actually uh, been working hard. And yeah, honestly, like, when people uh, notice, Dante, who was like fat now or something, like or he's out people, of shape. Yeah, when people notice, like they're gonna pay attention to actually who's like been working out, and the people who haven't been, like they're probably gonna get cut. Yeah, I thought you were a lot of that with you. Yeah. It's gonna be a different season, but you know what? It's it's the way it's gonna be. There's things when things end, whatever comes afterwards. Is gonna be different. It's not gonna be like the same. I get they have to finish it for contract reasons, but at the same time, it's like, well, well, whether they, you know what, I would rather have them finish it, understand what went wrong, what didn't go wrong, right? Okay, but nothing went wrong on their part, though. No, no, no. It was just I'm like, saying in circumstances. Work. No, no, no. Oh, I'm okay. About, I guess like, in an emergency situation. Okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So it's be this whole thing is gonna be an. Exp- There's no like, honestly speaking. This whole thing is going to be an experiment. No matter how you see it, we're going to see what worked, what didn't work, what people didn't like, what people don't like, what went wrong, or what will go wrong, or whatever. I'd rather have this as that, right? Because you know what? It's going to be an experience in its, in and itself. And then when you move on to the next season, you correct your mistakes, you make things better. And then what? You know what? It might be the change that what people have been asking in the NBA, honestly speaking, going forward. You know, I'm not sure if you guys remember. They were like next season is probably like, gonna. What's that? Next season is probably gonna be a shortened season. Um, uh, you know what? They were talking about shortened seasons before, um, pre, you know, quarantine. Um, I think next season because they're projecting this to end in October, right? The, like, you mean the season? The season? Yeah, the, like the whole, like the whole, like, the, once they get a championship, uh, everything will be done probably. in October. Is it October? That's what they're projecting. Yeah, that's what they're projecting. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. So it would start around the same time next season would start anyway. It'd be like end of October. So, so I, think, go... I think they don't want... No, I don't think they're going to go straight. I think they're going to then push the next season to like 2021 and then have a short... You mean like, near um... the Christmas holidays? Then, they might start around so December like, maybe, I think. Yeah, so like late December to like whenever to April is the regular season. So it'll just be a shortened season. Like maybe a half a season? Yeah. Yeah, like they do with the show. That will be a very out. interesting season, to tell you the truth. Honestly, Whatever, I think we're looking forward to next season. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see stuff like in terms of, I think, I don't know. It could I could I'm most likely could be wrong. I think that we're gonna see a lot more aggressive ball game in the next season. 
considering it's now shorter, people are gonna are more play a little well, a lot better because the shorter the games, I mean the the less games there are, like it means that every game more counts more than ever, right? So, um, that's why I'm I'm thinking that you're gonna see a lot more aggressive games, right? Right. Um. Speak so, I'm not sure. Have you guys? Do you guys know who's gonna be in the uh, for like this season at the very least? Who's coming in? Do you guys understand my question? <laughs> no. What did you ask? Okay. So, I said, um, do you guys know what teams are returning for this season at the very least? I'll put it up right now. All right, cool. Because to... it's like a total of 22 teams. Obviously, you have like your top contenders uh milwaukee uh lakers There's basically the teams that were still in uh playoff contention i remember that clinched it already uh what else is there miami indiana uh philadelphia i'm trying to remember the other side now <laughs> clippers obviously i don't know how i forgot about them nuggets Lakers. Yeah. I'm doing this from memory. Uh, you can literally look it up. Hold on. Because they already clinched it, you know, before the lock, um, before the season got put on hold. Yeah, this uh, is for basically it's for seeding and like who's gonna make the playoffs. So I think Mavericks. No, Maverick, okay. Mavericks. Yeah, Mavericks. I, I don't know. I need to see. Okay, a list. okay. Here, here, here. I have the okay, list. Okay. I have the list. And let's just not right, say cool, like cool, random cool. shit. Uh, the Bucks see how many and Bucks Lakers. Raptors, Clippers, let's see, Celtics, Nuggets, mm-hmm. uh, Jazz, Miami, mm-hmm. uh, the Thunder, mm-hmm. uh, the Rockets, Pacers, Sixers, uh, Mavericks, uh, Grizzlies, Brooklyn, let's see, Orlando, Portland, uh, Pelicans, Sacramento, Spurs, Phoenix. Uh, the Wizards, and that's it. Wow. So hold on. Oh, there's more teams on the West. Okay. Yeah, there's yeah, only like still um, for, nine. They're still fighting for a playoff spot. That's why. Nine in the East, okay. and then everyone right. else in the West that are playing because they're within like what three games or something. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if you guys asked me. I think the East was a more fun game to watch this year. Oh. I would rather still watch the I West. The West is so good. I, the West is the way West too good. Better. I would say the West was better this year. Than... You think so? The West mm-hmm. is way too good. Like Who the watching hell? the East had besides the top four teams in the East, who else was there to watch in the East? Yeah. Or top five. Right? Yeah. That's a lot already yeah. right there. <laughs> like the one, two, and three spots in every and the top ten teams in the West are way more interesting. Hmm. All right, well, like backwards and like you know small forwards, like that's all you need to watch. All right, fine, fine. I guess I don't know. I, I just remembering. I'm looking back at the games that passed. A lot of them were from teams that were in the East for me. But yeah, but you have a vested, you have a vested interest in the East. That's... Yeah, going, I mean, yeah, we're going, we're going subjectively, like Clippers, yeah. LA. Like there's yeah, so much more drama in the Rockets, West too. The Rockets, like shoot. Dallas, like they're like, okay. like the Grizzlies are in the running, which is crazy. When was I forgot they were a team. They're thirty-two and thirty-three. Wow, right on. Still under five hundred. That's not good. There's <laughs> yeah, barely five hundred. Well, at the very least, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, when we they got the, when they return, it'd be interesting to see who made and what who hasn't. So, like I said, like the playoffs in the West is way more. I will, you know what? I'd like to see, guys, in the comments below, I'd like to see who you think is going to be making it um, to the playoffs. I'd like to see everybody's comments uh, or what they think. Um, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Um, but I'm more interested in how this whole thing is going to work. Um, so, from what I read, it looks like they're planning to like do testing on everybody like every other day. Um, during the return, I don't know if that means they like. So, how does that work? Is that like so? Are they going to be doing? They're going to be doing that before they enter the building, I would assume, right? Because if you got the, 
if you're affected, then you they wouldn't let you in, right? What do you guys think? They're probably gonna test though two weeks prior to what like prior to the season. No, but start to get to the it, like from what I read, they're gonna be doing it like, every other day, which would probably which probably fall in line like that. What is it that there would be um. Wait, aren't they already playing like every other day in the previous, like in the, in the season usually? Every other day like without day. break, like, um, without back to backs or less back to backs. Okay, so then, basically, it would be following right before a game. So I'm guessing, you know, the way it works is they 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 come into the building, they get well, maybe they don't come into the building, they get tested outside the building, and then they can come in if they pat. Like, <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure it out. How are they going to get the results that quick? This is really interesting to see. They probably get everyone tested before actually going to Disney, right? Okay. And then they that test them like, like before a game, like the night before a game or something like that. Okay. All right. So then they have the time to <clears> test <throat> it out, see if everyone's good. Yeah. And then it's going to be restricted to like however many people, like, you know, people who clean the floor, coaches, coaching staff, and like mm-hmm. players. That's it. Oh, okay. Fine. And so- then like um, news broadcasters. Hmm. Okay, fine. I mean, that would be interesting, though. I I would like to, uh, I would like to see that honestly, like them coming in, or getting tested beforehand, and then we're probably gonna get a list. These are people who pass and whatever. It's almost anyways. That'll be interesting. Um, what else is there? Uh, yeah, imagine so the injuries like out due to COVID. Would they? Would they mention that you have the you've been affected with a virus though? Like I don't think so, right? They won't. They'll just anyway. say stop playing. Yeah. Okay. They'll do what okay. they did the last game. Like just no more playing. They won't. They wouldn't be was irresponsible enough to say a specific person's name. And then after the season's completely canceled. Oh my god! No. Oh. oh god! I don't know. <laughs> I think so. If you're starting this late, eh. I guess we'll, we'll see. Um, as in that, the restart plan. Well, what else? What what else is there? They're they're going to be starting in Orlando, so that's been confirmed. Happening on uh, in Disney, right? Um, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, did they always? So it's going to be happening in the stadium there, to my understanding. The uh. What is it called? I can't remember the name, but it's going to be happening in there. So that's going to be interesting. Um, the other one is the pay. So with the NBA restarting, um, you guys hear anything about the pay of the teams? Nope. No. Oh, okay. So I'm just quickly reading it up on here. Um, so it's, it's pretty interesting. They had, it doesn't seem to be having too much of a fight back about how they're going to be getting paid. Um, okay, wait one sec. So the teams will not be going to ESPN, ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex on the Disney campus near Orlando. And I think that's where they're going to be playing. Yeah, that's, that's for the location, yes. I You know, I really did not know they had even a stadium over there, to tell you the truth. Um, that was, to me, surprising. Right. Um, I don't know why Disney would have a sports complex, but okay. I don't know. I'm literally thinking about that. Like, did anything happen in the past? Like, I'm trying to remember. They I, just I really... have it just because. The... Don't question it. They have it. Okay, good thing they did have it. I don't know. Like, I'm I'm trying to remember. Like, but I can't remember anything happening before, honestly speaking. Um, payroll. Uh, it's it seems to be a messy like thing but i don't know it doesn't seem i don't to me it doesn't look like the players are like fighting back as much in terms of what they're going to be getting paid for and stuff like that uh um, money also like a superstar nba player like makes most of their money outside of their contract so well that's if you're a recognized player yes if you're somebody like lebron then you make more money outside in my opinion right but if you're a standard nba player then obviously the you playing games, your number one thing, right? I'm pretty um, sure these guys were somewhat financially responsible with their money. So, no, I agree. I mean, when the NBA got put to a halt, 
a lot of them did donate their money to the people, the work staff of the stadium that they play for, for their home teams. I think that was pretty generous of them. So, um, so yeah, to me, I think play pay wise, I think that's not going to be too big of a deal. Um, I think they're also going to have a limit in terms of how many people can really be in there. Um, team wise, like for your whole team, I don't talk about like the number of players. I'm talking about support staff and stuff like that. That's probably also going to be very limited as well. All right. Um. So yeah. Um. To me, it just seems very safe. Like I'm not. I haven't read anything in terms of how the game will be getting affected. Um. So that is uh another thing as well. All right. So wait and see approach. No, it really is. Um, we'll see. I, I mean, I think as the as the date gets closer, and what's the start date actually? July thirty first. July thirty first. Like really at the end. Okay. Huh. So start date July thirty first, ending in October. We're gonna see. So right now, as of this recording, it's kind of mid June. Mid, yeah, mid June. So I think once they start finalizing, we're actually gonna see a breakdown, and I can't wait to see that. Actually, I would like to see how many things we've hit on the ball. Right, so, um, I don't know with the plan. Do you guys just support it? Like, do you think this whole thing's gonna work? It's gonna play out nice. I think the people that want to play, that still want to play for a championship, will play for a championship. If mm-hmm. people say they don't care about a championship right now because of what's going on with the BLM. And because the season the season is a wash, um, I sure hope the reason is for BLM and not because the season is a wash. Because I think mm. if you're an NBA player, you come in, you want to win a championship. You're not here. Uh, if your if your agenda is to rebuild, you wouldn't be playing as part of 22 teams anyway. So you better be playing for a championship. If you're not playing mm-hmm. for a championship, your cause may should be on the other side, not just because the season's on the wash. Okay, so then, um, but it's, I, I'm I, so okay. So if we're looking outside of what's happening outside of the world, and you're looking at just the NBA's restart plan, um, do you think it's something that could work in a sense so the reason why i'm stating this so for example i read an article that says that like a top uh, infectious disease expert he's supporting the nba's restart plan saying that this will be successful not that it might will be so um you have to to do something what's that like you they have to do something so it's like it's better than nothing no, I hear you. I, I think the fact that they're doing repetitive t- repetitive testing, and like that itself is a big start. So, I don't know. For me, I I would be inclined to say that the way they're approaching it is gonna be is is a good, very good start. Um, but I, I again, this is unknown territory. We're gonna have to see how this goes. So I don't know. We'll see. Um. Raptors, obviously, this time, you know, we're big Raptor fans. Uh, they will not be having home court advantage, so that will be interesting. Um, <laughs> I it, It's going to be an odd scenario, you know, like they're going to be uh, in a state or area or arena and always going to be um, like a non-home court advantage. But you know what? Having the Raptors always been performing a lot better. Um, they'll have family there. They'll be fine. No, but they've have always have been performing. They've always been to me. They've always been a a away team. Like they perform really really. well on their away games. They they, feel they, they do perform a lot, like a lot better in away games, and they also like, like perform to their their competition. Like mm-hmm. we would lose to like a really bad team. We would lose to like the Suns, but we'll beat Milwaukee. Like we'll beat you know. Like, in away game, yes. Yeah, no, like That's in any game, in any game, like we'll play yeah. like really well against like good teams, uh, what was and it? we'll Hornets? play bad for some against reason, like we're yeah, so weak against the Hornets. Yeah, we'll like yeah, we'll lose against the Hornets. We'll lose against Orlando for some reason, but then sure. against I'll Miami, against like you know, like even decent teams like the Pacers, the Sixers, like all of them, like we'll play well. I was watching that. What's it? I was watching the finals game yesterday. Yeah, they were really neck and neck with the Golden State Warriors at home, which was impressive. Yeah, 
Like, uh, and again, I think also it goes to show that how good Golden State is. But I don't know. Home for me, I've always I'm, I've always seen Raptors as more of a away team. So I like to see how this goes playing in Orlando, right? So versus the West, we're sixteen and eight. Actually, they did beat LeBron. They did beat LeBron and James when they were injured. Yeah. Wait, were they were they injured? Yeah, it was when like the Raptors had no Lowry and no Siakam. I think they still beat a healthy Lakers team. Hmm. Okay. Wonder what uh your favorite new Bleachers report said about that. Good Bleachers report. All right, well, that's fine. I'm going to give the Raptors credit, screw them. Ah, for me, I'm not sure. I'm going to see. Well, we'll see. So, hold on. So, as you guys heard, NBA 2K21, it's coming. Have you guys seen the trailer for that? I hate that trailer. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you just hate it because of the sweat. Like, you hate it. You hate it. You hate it because of the sweat. Like, shoot. <sighs> you could probably bathe in it. Well. I don't know. There's... I think it's pretty good. Like the, the graphics wise, if the graphics really are gonna look like that on the Should PS5, will be on the cover or whatever. Uh, oh yes, you know what? I was expecting before even seeing the um the actual trailer for it that they would have used Kobe on it. I 2K think that... 24 better have Kobe on it. If 24 doesn't have Kobe on it, oh, I'm gonna ride. Uh, I don't know. I think he, honestly, starting right now with 21, it would've been good, right? Yeah. Here's, I here's, here's yeah. my stance on 2K. Like, like in the 2K games, like the basic gameplay is fine. It's good. Uh, the mechanics, they change like every other year. So whatever, that's fine. But as part of like an actual game, like monetization, um, you know, um, online play, um, interactiveness, garbage, absolute trash, like fucking dog shit. <laughs> Fuck that game. Actual dog shit yeah. game, but is I'll buy it. Really I'll buy it. You know, you know, you know, you know why? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One sec, one sec. Do you know why I buy 2K? Because I just want to play current rosters. That, that's it. That's literally it. And maybe they'll update some graphics. That's fine. I don't buy 2K to like watch people fucking sweat. That's gross. I don't give a shit. Right? I play. I play games for mechanics. I play games because you know they look fun and playing basketball is fun. But then when I want to play against other people, because, you know, playing against other people is fun. It's dog shit. Actual garbage. Go ahead. What do you say? Well. Oh. Yeah. So what do you think? Why? why? I miss Ryan's whole ram. No, no, no. Well, that's fine. He was talking about, well, I don't think he really missed it. He just kind of. <laughs> like he said, he I, just I just skipped off right when he said <laughs> when he said the only reason I say 2K is and he, he lost. No, no. So he basic, basic okay, game. basically 2K. As far like if you're if you play games, right? I play games. Like I said, I'm gonna really quick. I play games because like mechanics are good, whatever. But the fundamental gameplay is fine. Fundamentally, it's good, okay. But when you try to interact with other people or like when you, the monetization, like the whole structure of it, sucks. That's it. It's bad. But I feel like 2K is a game for casual people. I don't think 2K is for. Oh, don't say game. that to to top tier players. <laughs> though. Though, I wouldn't say that top tier players, but sure. No, okay, but like overall, do you think 2K is more geared to hardcore players or is more geared to casual? So I feel like I it's, more geared to casual. it's geared to people that play on the couch. Is what I'm gonna say. Yeah, for yeah, me, probably. I'm, I'm oh, wow. more, I I play as a casual game when I got friends over or something then. Yeah, I don't think it was meant to be, even though there is an eSport for it, I don't think it's, it was meant to, I don't think well, it I mean, care about it. We'll see. I don't, I still don't, you know, again, what we saw this week for 2K, like, it was just a trailer. I don't think it's the official trailer. I feel like I 2K's thing was, has always been, ooh, look how good our game, look how realistic it looks. I feel like that's right, the I agree. Whole thing. But that's but been we'll always see. their thing. I would like to see mechanics. Um, Ma- mechanics are but... never going to be good. Well, like never know. they yeah, don't know. hire good enough people to make everything look fluid and interact the way it's supposed to be, right? Mm-hmm. I'm if I'm gonna I'm go up yeah. for a layup, like it better be a layup every single time. I'm not gonna <laughs> pull up jumper, 
two feet away from the rim. I be, I don't want to see that shit. That shit's dog shit. My I'm play I play a guard or a small forward. I don't want to fucking jump for a hook shot three feet from the rim. Why does that happen? I said that's just two K. Like game mechanics has never really been their thing. Yeah, that's why it's a dog shit game. I already said. But well, it's the only one out there. Whatever happened to NBA Live? Uh, even worse, how do you make dog shit worse? NBA Live. <laughs> NBA. That's what I'm saying. Like, you had one job and you couldn't do it. That you couldn't, like, c- copy paste and make it look better. You just copy paste it and then, like, you know, it saved it as a Live. different file with a lower quality. How the fuck did you do that? God damn. Way to go, NBA Live. Way to go. Like, I'll play 2K. Like I said, I'll play 2K because it's fun. But you know what I play in 2K? I play my career because I don't have to interact with, like, you know, five tick servers against people that play next door to me. And if you don't know, higher tick rate is better. Playing on five is like, you know, playing 32 bit in 2020. Why? That's not happening. None of it. So, um, for me, I like again. I don't think that was a true trailer. I'm going to really wait for the actual one, and I, I'd like to see what they're offering this time. Um, it's, it's uh, the what's... same old, same old. Uh, you never oh, again. I like to keep an open mind, even if they, you know, disappointed me with all. Okay, same what, things. okay. What are you looking for? Like, cause like two kids never gonna I, be like. I said, like a... I'm not sure. It's never gonna be a game of the year contender. So it's well, never no, gonna be I mean, game of the year. But never. Don't even what... like. Not even top hundred games. Again, um, um, like I feel like it's in that same. Okay, maybe I wouldn't say that, but it's in that same category of Grand Te- uh, Grand Turismo. Like you know what it is. No, Grand Turismo is a way better game. Yes, but I'm like, so, saying, like, you know what it's about. Like, you know like, what it is. Like, in its you know category, Grand Turismo is a top. Like, let's 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 just put that. Yeah, out there. like yeah, okay, yeah, like, yeah. In, Grand Turismo is not the top. Sports, yeah. 2K isn't the top. Like, it's not. It's FIFA. It's not the top. FIFA is the top. Yeah. Because FIFA actually, like, knows how to make gameplay and, like, you know, mechanics. I like FIFA. FIFA games. Like, FIFA, FIFA like, if you've ever played FIFA against, like, a really good player, like, you know, like, you could never be good as them. Because this guy, you know, he's been playing for five years. Like, at least. And he actually plays soccer. Or football. Sorry, European viewers. My bad. I don't think they care about okay. Oh no, they'll kill you. They'll actually kill you. Well. I'll call soccer. I'll call soccer anytime I want. Well, so that's NBA 2K on the PS5, right? Um, and as you guys have probably realized or have watched, PS5 got, like, the look of it got uh, announced this week. Um, you know, the way it looks, uh, there's plenty of memes for it. But, like, you know what? If that thing comes in black, instant cop like i don't care i would get that in a heartbeat Dude, really uh, i don't care could be a craft system game that thing comes in black man this guy's I'm, buying I'm gonna get that so quick no he like, wants no it's not even the black he wants the black with red lights that's yes, what he exactly. wants he Dude. wants to okay feel... okay black with the red if okay if we're doing that like instead of white and blue you go the black and red okay i'll get that no no you're not team blue if you get the black and red like you are a traitor is what you're you, you've gone to the dark side act literal dark side damn right yeah it's, yeah literal right. dark side that right dark side, dark side. Dark side. Well, dark side like, you know what like i i told i told him before yes, and uh, like when he sent that to me i think on like ig or something i'm like that's black air force energy man you you have to <laughs> get right it. it it's either black and blue or white and blue Mm-hmm. But so not black and red. Explain. Okay, so black, like, nice. black Air Force. It's and almost like the old one. I don't get it. I don't. Well, I not, don't for me, black and red. Like I need that. I'm down with the black and red. It kind of looks like that, that. would be a sleek design. It looks Good. so nice. I so saw a render sus. of that. Oh my god! Like, sus Look, you gamer. know what? If it doesn't come in black and red, but it still comes in black and blues, you know what? Still fine. I will order it, but it'll be like a casual walk to like the click and buy. Or like to the store, but like black and red, I'm leaving work early for it. <laughs> like, no, like you gotta, oh, that. Uh, how much I like it. Like, you gotta I've get the that, white. Like, you get the white cover. Yeah. If if you don't get the white cover, you're not living in 2020, man. Like what? Say who? How dirty is your living space that you're so self conscious about getting black? Let me focus on me for a second. 
Well, okay, fine. So, okay. Yeah. How dirty? First of all, I have in my TV stand alone, I have what two laptops on there, and then I got like the Switch. I have the current PS PS4, and then I got the TV and uh, what do you call it? the media box or like cable and whatever. So you want running. all black? Is what you're saying? I I want all black. Like I want all black, and that okay. that looks that thing looks like it's a piano finish too. Like it will look nice in black, right? I don't know. It looks piano finished to me. I I, I need okay, to you know see it. Black and blue is fine. Just the red lighting. It's just you're 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 not team blue anymore. If you take red lighting, yeah, it's Look, a Sony, I, like but I it's said, like ugh. doesn't come. Like I said, if it doesn't come in black and red, fine. As long as it comes in black and blue, sure. I just don't like the white finish, man. Like, I mean, I, mean, I, like I okay, sorry. I like it, but it could be better. Does that make sense? Ah, uh, no. It could be better. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Like, yeah, you know why? Because uh, here's the thing with black. It hides all the lines, right? And it's a, it's a very there's a lot of curves in the system, and it hides a lot of that. Okay. Like the blue highlight, I don't know the blue. Um, the white highlights lines a lot better than black does. Okay, but you know what? As 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 a color, I think black has longevity in it. Honestly speaking, okay. So you're telling me it's probably a really bad comparison. You're telling me that you get your cars in like white. I would get them in white. Like, I would, if I if I get a car in black, I would murder it out like hundred percent. But if I wanted to show off the lines, if I'm getting a body kit, I would. Yeah, if it's not white or if it's not if it doesn't have decals or um, a wrap on it, it's gonna be white as a base coat. Okay. All right. Because black, as cool as it looks, hides a lot of lines. If your car it is, does. if agree. you would you rather have a white Lambo or a black Lambo? Okay, like to show off the body. I already okay. You know what? I'm being. This is a very bad. I'm not the right person to ask this question. Black Lambo. I know what you're saying. Yes, you have to get all those angles. I agree. Why well, shows it off? Still black Lambo. I don't care. Like. Okay. For me, when it comes to like owning things, like the murder out looks is the way to go to for me. I, I don't know. I yeah, like, no, that's no, my... yeah, whatever. It's the murder out look. That's that's what I'm saying. If it's if that's what you want, yes, because you know it's stealth. That's what the murder out look is. But mm-hmm. if you want to go about showing off the line and like you know the actual body kit, yeah, you can see every single angle in white than you could with black. Because no one wants to look at carbon fiber on black, but they will look at carbon fiber on white. Okay, you know what? I thought of something. A GTR. I, sorry, I'm relating this back to cars, but like I just remember the GTR. And you know what? That's probably the one car that looks better in white. GTR uh, really depends. Uh, I don't know. I need to see this thing. To me, it has Honestly, to have a like GTR is one of the cars that doesn't have a lot of carbon. It shouldn't have a lot of carbon fiber because it's a lot of vents, and the vents are the only place, minus the side mirrors, that should have carbon fiber. Yeah, but you know, like what? showing. I can, I what? Showing, showing carbon fiber. Well, yes, I agree, but. I don't know. I need to see how how, how this thing looks. You know, there's reports on it that say like it's it's a pretty big system, like comparison or whatever, like the PS5. Um, that's probably why they kept showing it standing up. I wonder if the thing can be like show, like can it stand downwards? Yeah, it can like, lay, lay down flat. Yeah, like you think so? Like it? Yeah, it can lay down flat. Hmm. Or I wonder it? if they, I don't know. It. I'm trying to I'm trying to find a picture again to remember how it looks, but. Um, the way I remember it, yeah, I can definitely lay on flat. It's sitting on top of a stand, like in this photo. I wonder how it did. Like both sides look curved. If you have digital version, uh, it shouldn't matter. Mm-hmm. But if you get the CD version, it'll be on the side. Hold on, let me put it up. Mm. Here, you know what? On Forbes, I, I'm, I'm kind Here. of inclined to say that this thing's gonna be huge. If the, this port is supposed to be that size, 
that's gonna be pretty tall. This is gonna be a pretty tall system, actually. Huh. That's a powerful system. Well, I really I hope it is. With the potential of the price that's gonna be. Uh oh, look at that. Look at the what is that? Is that what it looks like? What? On the controller? On the controller? Yeah. So yeah, basically that's sick. Yeah. Can you show me this? Like it was really cool. Like like zoom in enough and the grip textures actually like are actually the you know circle triangle square and x it's just a pattern yeah. and that to me is crazy right oh, like that's man. so sick like it's a very minor detail but like you know what that's a very good detail to have it's gonna oh man i can only imagine oh man like microsoft has nothing on this like you know what they have here let me let me let me pull it up here's the specs right. right here's the specs off of google like literally just google xbox versus ps5 specs um for the xbox okay cpu xbox has eight cores at 3.8 gigs um zen 2 cpu a ps5 eight cores 3.5 gigs and variable frequency so, All right, so the xbox has like 0.3 gigs over sure okay. uh gpu um 12 ter teraflops um what is that 52 cus at 1.825 gigs on the gpu for the xbox ps5 10.3 teraflops 36 cus and um, i think 2.33 gigs of hmm. frequency so it's still xbox still xbox right um Please. what was it processors uh -huh. wait what the hell i swear some more there you go. All right, all right. This is this looks here, legit. I mean, close, close this asshole down here. Um, <laughs> I think the one I saw was um, it wasn't on this one, but storage. Let me get my phone. Give me one sec. Just like look at that for a sec. Wait, what? Am I reading that correctly? Really? Huh. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, what are you oh, searching about again? Okay, here. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, GPU. Um, memory for thing for Xbox was 16 gigs uh, mm -hmm. of RAM. Same thing for PS5, 16 gigs. SSD, right? Uh, Xbox has one terabyte uh, NVMe. Um, PS5, 825 gigs custom memory. And that's pretty much it on the ones I have. Backwards compatibility, almost all PS4 games for PS5, and Xbox has a little bit more. So you're telling me the PS4, with the current PS4 games that I have, will work on the PS5? Will work on the PS5, but PS5 games are exclusive to PS5. Well, I mean, of course. Okay, you know but, what? But this the new Xbox, this. here's the thing, new Xbox... Um, they have Xbox Series X, whatever games will be compatible with the previous version of the Xbox. Oh, really? So what's gonna happen is, yeah. yeah so they're gonna be. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. Um, mm -hmm. Not 100 percent sure, but um, what that does to design companies or game, yeah, game designers is now they have to support um, both. Support both, yeah. They have to have in mind the uh, what are called limitations of the old xbox versus the new xbox versus the ps5 if you're making a game for ps5 you can like use all the potential you have for ps5 all right so as a game developer that would probably be really annoying it'd be annoying if you were yeah developing games for xbox yeah that's like an additional cost you really don't need if you ask me. yeah it's not even cost it's um, just like it's just a headache no i think so like for me as a gamer i just want the next best thing I would just easily upgrade in a heartbeat. Why would you make me have to think, oh, should I now, should I oh, even upgrade? Here. In a sense? Like, I would me, upgrade. I, I, I would upgrade as, right away. No, same here. As a gamer, yes. But I, you know what? I can see it. If it's for your kid, just get the new games. It will work. Okay, I can see that whole point, but I don't know. I think they're, eh, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm grateful for the fact that Xbox is, has this sort of mindset going forward um but man as a company i think this is gonna hurt you in the long run who hurt who xbox why hurt and with what like in terms of sales like you want to move the, the console you want to yeah yeah it. yeah you want to move consoles so 
I don't know what their thing is with that. And I'm looking at this and it says like performance wise, uh, they're saying the Xbox is winning. The Xbox yeah, I mean, has always been a better performer than a PS4, PS5, uh, PS3 even. The Xbox yeah. has always performed way better, but their games were just shit. Their games were just bad. Well, they didn't have any games. I mean, at least very like, exclusive What did ones. they have? Like Halo. I don't know. What was it? Ha- Halo, I think. Minecraft oh, I mean, was exclusive for a bit or something. Um, I'm trying to... Honestly, I don't know, but the games <laughs> on like I I don't know. I hate Team Green. I'll tell you right now. Forza, like, huh? For yeah, Forza, but I'd rather play GT. Honestly, yeah, same. I would rather I play agree. GT. Like I used to think, like yeah, Forza and GT. Um, this is a little bit off topic, but like the gameplay like seemed a little bit slow. But now since I got into cars and I looked at what like they actually had in it, I'm like, this is cool. Like, you actually have to understand a little bit about cars to be playing this game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so, yeah, the Xbox series will have, like, it always has better features, for sure. It's going to perform better, it's going to switch games faster, but, like, I don't want to switch from a shitty game to another shitty game. Like, who cares? No, you're right. In, like, a second. Yeah, mm-hmm. Like, no, I'd rather take, a, take two seconds to switch, you know, from a good game to another, a better game. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you know... It's a good game. Why not? And I would definitely buy it because of the gaming. Because mm-hmm. number one, this is a gaming console. Oh, it's to me it makes sense. You uh, like just looking at the current generation. Like, I'm trying to remember all the exclusive games, and there's really not that many that I could. Eat. Well, actually, I can't even remember anything off the top of my head right now. But several pop in my head. Right now, isn't uh, Doom example, exclusive? Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man exclusive. It's exclusive to PS Five. Oh my God, you're kind of loud. Yeah, he is kind of. <laughs> well, every time I, am, I don't know why he does that. Okay, you're good. Okay, now. you're fine now. You're fine now. Yeah, I, I had to That's drop you funny. before. Um, coming out of nowhere. Is Spider Man exclusive? Spider Man is exclusive for PS Five. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Was the lo- was was the first game exclusive? Hold on, let me, let me check right now. PS, uh, let's see, four exclusives. Yeah, Spider Man exclusive. Oh. The PS4? For PS4. I swear, Xbox got whatever. Okay, uh, Until Dawn. Okay, okay. exclusives for PS4. Until Dawn, Neil. I have it on screen by now if you're not looking. Um, Shadow Colossus, <laughs> Last of Us, Persona 5, Uncharted 4, amazing game. Persona. Horizon Zero Dawn, thank God. Like, this was a fucking good game. Oh good game, God. and now they ha- actually. We'll go into that soon. I oh my god, when we talk about it, I'm just gonna yeah. I'm missing one. I'm Bloodborne, Spider Man, God of War. God of War, yeah. I completely forgot about that too. Yeah, uh, God of War. That's a good list right there. Yeah, and then let's look at the Xbox. What's the current Xbox called? Xbox on um, trash. <laughs> Xbox I don't even know anymore. Xbox who is the, like who is the guy that keeps coming up with these names with Xbox? Xbox one exclusive. Him. Okay. Halo oh fuck. Let me just here. Let me, let me Can you pull imagine this. being a pairing? You don't know nothing about gaming. You're trying to buy your kid a game. So like, I want an Xbox. I'm gonna yeah, explain want to my kid why I'm never gonna let him get an Xbox. He doesn't. He's does, he does, he does, he like, okay, I'm looking to buy an Xbox for my what kid. What the law? Like, which one? And you're like, I don't first know which Xbox. One. First of all, look at this so game. You got the Xbox One. All right, Xbox look, 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 with their heart, look stop this. With their look this. Let's talk about what they have. <laughs> this bullshit game. Um, Halo Wars Two sucks. Halo Master Chief Collection. Okay, they couldn't. They couldn't make a new game. Um, Sea of Thieves, which is you know what. I'll give it to. Him. I'll give. See if he's pretty good. Um, Forza more Forza. Forza. again. G, I'd rather play GT. Um, Ori and Will Lewis. It's on okay, PC I now. I, I I like it. It's a good game. Mm-hmm. Good game. You so know it's what? not exclusive anymore. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not, no not anymore. Yeah. Uh, Gears of War. Eh, I wasn't a big fan. It's a cool story. I don't like the game. Sunset Overdrive was actually a cool game when it came mm-hmm. out, and this mm-hmm. was like one of the earlier games. So like, I don't know if I would yeah. even count it anymore. Um, Halo Five. I mean, it's Halo Five. Halo same Three name. is better. Same name. It's Gears yep. Five. Like they put the same three games, like three same times, game. two or three times. Forza again. Like they don't have good games. Horizon. Forza twice. Gears two or three times. Like and Halo, Halo four times. And then the only other two games: Sea of Thieves and Sunset. Um, thing. What do you call it? And Ori. That's it. Those are the three games, other than the, the other ones. Right. Really, yeah. there's six games here. They tried. All the games on the PS4 are yeah, PS4 list are different. 
like that alone like i wouldn't be team green ever yeah i hear your point actually you know what one thing i will Let's... give xbox is they've always had a good controller like the controller always feels really good and uh, i guess you have a point there yeah but, but somehow Forbes is giving it to the PS5. I, I don't like Forbes now. Like what? Wait, is it laptop well, mag? Okay, laptop mag. What the fuck? Wait, I thought I was looking at Forbes. I thought I was looking at Forbes. Sorry, Forbes. Laptop it's... mag. They've oh, been wrong God. on every single thing I've seen. Uh, Xbox, the design. Xbox. Are you kidding? Get out of here. Oh, it's a draw. <laughs> a draw. What? Hold on. Hold on. Look, let's a just draw go through. What? A draw on. Okay, let's let's go through like what they just did here. Um. A price of release date. Uh, here, design. Design. They gave it to. It's a draw. What? How is it a draw? How is it a draw? Design is so objective that our preferences don't really matter. PS5 is objectively more interesting. This console hasn't been proven. Okay, no, that's when you're or whatever. Like, I don't. I can't accept fucking. the. One's a, one's a freaking table stand and the other one's a slice. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Performance. This is like very like base, based on numbers and fine. I accept this one, but the controller, like, mm-hmm. completely off. Like, completely off. Like, Xbox always has a way better controller. Yeah, I agree on that one. Backward compatibility. I mean, this objective, like, it's true. It's better, but you know what? Uh, on the long run, Sony's, well, Sony's going to win. Because they're going to have way better graphics on their system than the Xbox 5. Yeah. Or the Xbox whatever. Yeah, Xbox whatever series. Name. Xbox 5. Yeah, you know what? Simple. It'd be a lot more, you know... Uh, what, what's or X Five or X Five or something. I don't know. If no. you if you ask me, I can only see Xbox games going forward being way more expensive than PlayStation because they are gonna have to put in support for being able to work. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I we think. Let's talk about games now. Oh yeah, I want to talk about the. I don't know. Um, the what they're what people are calling the confusing list of 28 confirmed ps5 games forbes um, again i still don't know why we're looking at forbes for gaming but okay leave, 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 leave. Well, we can use someone else if you want but no i mean this is the one we have right now this is a list that they're they're counting out right now on the interwebs but um these are the games that they're actually already saying so um for me not all of them are some like i have to really remember what they were I only uh, want one game. Around. Here, for me, let's start with this. Gran Turismo. Let's start with like, this. Like Gran Turismo, not a surprise. Like, was that going to be a surprise? Nope, not Astros even. Like, I'm waiting for it, right? Um, Horizon. That was somewhat of a surprising. If you ask me, they're it's almost like they're taking the same approach. That Horizon. Oh, okay, let's talk about Horizon oh. for a sec. Like Horizon. Like who here has played Horizon other than me? Who has played it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I played it. So Horizon, like, you remember, like, how the game looked so good when yeah. it came out. And it yeah. played just as well. Yeah. Like, this, I would compare this to Far Cry 3 or 4. I forgot which one I played. But, like, a Far Cry game that was even better. Right? Okay. Like, the you design. You know what I compared this to, though? What? Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. And a lot of people say. Was, a lot of people say. Came out the same time. Yeah, a lot of people say it was like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, and they came out the same day. Like it's hilarious. Breath of the Wild. What was Breath of the Wild again? Oh, Zelda. Yeah, Zelda. Zelda. Oh my yeah. God. I would still like the Zelda game better, but in terms of like something new and refreshing, like Horizon was so good because of mm-hmm. like how they portrayed like the environment and no, I, like I, mechanics. I like it's a. Uh... Like yeah, they took it some was, from it, from Assassin's Creed. They took like stuff from Zelda for sure, well, but like I don't know if you can say they. Oh. Okay, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. They did. Like they took some aspects, but the what do you call? It? I'm like oh my god, my words are completely off. Mm. I don't know. I just just the I design just like looks funny. good. Like you can just I you can get immersed in this world because it looked a lot more real than a Zelda game. Mm, yes okay that you're right but i just find how funny how both this game horizon and breath of the wild came on the same day and they have the same sort of approach in terms of that old school hunting mix with the new technology i don't know i just find it very cool there's no technology they came out with that same sort there's of no thing. technology in zelda what? well the hunting you know you have the 
old like the, basically you had the like the uh in Zelda you have like that um that technology I I'm forgetting the name now. So you have the ancients. You have the ancients in yes. Zelda, right? So okay, Zelda isn't really like yeah, you have the a little bit of a power creep, but you have to solve puzzles, but you don't get that power creep. You, the what it is, you defeat a certain mob, they have a stronger weapon, and then you use that weapon to defeat another mob that has an even better weapon. That's how you upgrade, right? It's never you as a character to get an upgrade. What you upgrade is your stamina. That's it. Right? And then certain, like, you know, you get some armor that kind of does, like, a certain perk or whatever. It doesn't really do too much. Where why I would, like, compare Horizon to Far Cry is because you actually have to hunt. And then you when you hunt, you get, like, you know, materials, and then you have, like, an actual tree that you can upgrade and you don't have to replenish that at one point you don't have to like that's just you just have a skill now yeah. right and that's no. why like i would put horizon just like that no, i i just really can't wait to see what this next one's gonna be i'm kind of I'm actually it's gonna be a lot of underwater probably, is what these they showed i i just hope you know what i just hope this is a day one like a day one option i think it'll be day so one IGN's like gonna, ign's gonna give it a seven then ign's gonna give it 10 out of 10 just because ign not gonna be seven. Too much water. <laughs> too much water. It's like ah, oh, too much water. Uh, it looks kind of bulky. It's kind of clunky. But it's a triple A company. Eight out of ten. <laughs> like I, I don't. Well, I don't know. So what else is there? Demon Souls probably will play that for sure, most likely. Not my game, but uh, you know what? It's a good game. I'll probably most likely play it. What is Destruction All Star? It's a instant cop. Like I don't care. What's Destruction All Star? I'm looking at it right now. I don't know that one actually. Um, racing arena. What is it? Oh, I thought that, it was like a no, weird. No, um, what do you call it? A weird Rocket League type of make. I don't think I would get it. Was it Rocket League uh, free? Rocket League is free, so it looks like a really weird. I don't know. I don't think I'll get it. Oops. For me, it's a pass for sure on that one. Let's see. Uh, Spider Man for sure. Could be a cop. Yes. That's the only game I want to get, so screw it. Ratchet and Clank. I would get Ratchet and Clank. Oh, yeah, and Ratchet and Clank too. Ratchet and Clank looks the so gameplay, good. The gameplay, the gameplay looks good for that. It was made that for the presentation, you know, this, right? It was, because like, that like, was some seamless like gameplay from cutscenes to like, gameplay. I'm like, that is really like The loading was so good. Like, just changing environments. Like, Oh, uh, I feel, I'm like I don't think that's good. That's that looks very difficult to do. If that's how the game's actually gonna be, that you're just hopping from dimensions like that. Yeah, like I think it would be really good. Uh, Returnal, I have no idea what that is. I have to wait. Well, yeah, same thing. I don't know what that is either. Sackboy, no, I see. I remember. I, I don't want to see threads of threads. I I don't care. Hey, that was good for the PS3. Video. Was it PS3? Was it PS3? Oh my god, I think it was. I think okay. so. Third party, third party games. Don't know I half don't know of what these. that is. Bug snack? Oh, that thing, no. I mean, it looks Death interesting, loop. but no. Deathloop? I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know half of these games, so like, we have to... I don't remember it, but the name is familiar for me. Survival game, I think. Um, Bethesda. Ooh, Bethesda? Maybe. I might have to. Uh, is it the one with the undead people or the ghost? It might be. Is that? It looks kind of cool, but like I, if it's a horror game, I'm not gonna get it. It's scary. Oh wait, wait, wait! I remember this. It's on the, on the PS4. Wait, it's on the PS4. You're not getting Resident Evil either. Wait, hold on. Definitely. No, I'm not getting Resident Evil. Like you have the guy or the girl? I don't know. I really don't know. No. Okay. It's a ghost warrior. I, I think I'm gonna the... play that. Like. I remember it now. Like, the concept's pretty good. I don't know if you guys remember it. Anyways, I don't know these games. What's that? I don't know, like, a lot of these games. What, Ghostwire? Ghostwire, I don't know. Really? Oh, okay. I, I mean, I've heard about it. The guy with the mask. Will I play it? Mm, you oh, know man. what? If it, if it's, if this is the list we're seeing on day one, then. Yeah, probably. I don't think it's all going to be These day one. Not, there's no, there's no, way too many. <laughs> Some of them are Christmas. Yeah. Some of them stayed for Christmas. Okay, so 
I think Spider Man's uh, late after Christmas, so. Spider Man, yeah, I mean, I've never gone their Spider Man games. I'm not sure if I'll start with this one. Hitman 3, yeah, you know what? I played the other ones, I might just get it. I feel like Grand Theft Auto. With this one. Grand Theft Auto 5? What does that mean? It's just saying, it's just, they're just going to port it from, you know, PS4 to PS5. That's all they're doing, and the cars look better. Why would I get yeah. the cars in GTA 5 when I can get GT? Oh, man, I read that at Super Smash Bros. Uh, okay. I don't know what that is. Jet? Farshore? I I don't know. You got, you, have you guys heard of it before? It's a space adventure from Super Brothers. What the hell? I don't think so. I mean, I've heard about the company, the Super Brothers, but I don't know. I'm not, I don't know much about this game. I'd have to watch the reviews and whatnot when it comes out. We'll see. Kenna. Little Devil Inside. Wait, Kenna, hold on. It looks like a, like, the art looks kind of like Ori, but like 3D. Little Devil Inside. Oh, that one. Um, No, that's a pass for me. That's oh, funny. this uh, one was ah uh, yes, yes. I don't know. I remember it. <laughs> Little devil inside. So they have a thing like people don't know. Um, yeah, man, the developer made a very racist um, let's say, not antagonist. What is it? Evil character, which is basically let's call it what it is, like an African in a mask. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know. Like, yeah, like and and the developer already said they're going to be changing the designs of those um thing those characters. Yeah, but like so, I said, that's a pass. <laughs> that was that was that was that was, that was not good. Um, yeah, no, no. we're gonna skip this garbage. Uh, Odd World. <laughs> okay, sorry. Odd World. Uh, I don't know. Um, Odd World. So it hasn't come. Like I haven't seen Odd, an Odd World game personally since the PS One. And I really liked it. It was PS1 or PS2, I don't remember. But like, I liked it, but it's a platformer, right? And No, PlayStation 1. Yeah, PS1, right? Yeah. So, maybe for nostalgia, but no, uh, if I were, if this game just came out, like right now, I wouldn't get it. Eh. Yeah, it's a, it's, for me, it's a pass. I know I'm seeing a lot of pass, honestly, but... No, I'm passing too. Like, I... Really, yeah. the only one here is Horizon for me. I don't know. Pragmata, the one that you just highlighted, it's it's got really good. It's got really good graphics. Like, Does it? I might pick this up just to see the graphics. To tell you the truth, like if it plays the way I saw how it looks, like well, I get it. it's set to be released in twenty twenty two. So you know, I know. But like I'm saying, like it looks really nice. Resident Evil got like for sure just already in my shopping cart well, the project that. project like athia oh sorry yeah i missed one sorry project uh, athia project, what is that one so it's square enix i think rpg was it rpg type game where you like you get powers and no like the trailer looks really good there's like a dragon in it with like a flaming chest oh was that the one that looked like a final fantasy game yeah it's square enix that's why you know but it looked like a final fantasy game like the way it looked right yeah because it's square no, I mean, I, of course, but... Yeah, okay. the way it looks, yes, yes, yes. Like, all Square Games look like a... I actually do not know what it what it's, what it's supposed to be about. Like, I'm guessing it's good. I think they're trying to make it like, um... Elder Scrolls type game, but would, you know, but from Square. Hmm. You know, I just might just pick it up. So, from what I remember, I think it's a PS5 exclusive. If anything. Right? So... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you're listing like a lot of games that you're gonna get. Like you don't know the price of the system yet. Yeah, I know. Hey, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing like eight hundred bucks Canadian. Yeah, I'm still gonna and get not, them. And the games are probably like gonna be like around a hundred. Yes, I know. I'm still gonna get them. Hundred dollars per game. Look, dude, I've and I've already you might as well keep it on a lot. Dude, dude. I I right. uh, 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 let's just finish these like you know last four, <laughs> and then like because I I have a question Over too, out. right? I have, I, have, I have a question. Like right after. You want to ask the question now or after? no? No, no. Solar Ash. I don't know what Solar Ash is actually. I looked at. I saw it for a bit, and it wasn't really interesting. Stray. Okay. I don't know. What the hell is this? Oh yeah, no. I'm that's a that's a not like it's a cat game like the the robots and stuff. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I'm not. A... Tribes of Midgard. Okay, so, Tribes of Midgard. I can't remember this? what that one is. Platform on the PS4 Midgard. is out right now. 
so no, I guess. No, I would. Okay, okay, hold on. Last one, real quick. Um, Pathless. No idea. Again, like I don't know all these third-party games. I have no idea. I'm just gonna make it better. Oh wait, I remember that one. Okay, yeah, I remember that one. Oh, creators of Abzu. Okay, you know what? I could play that. Like, I'm you know, you could be juiced up one day and just like, oof, get a little just bit. Play of, like, it now though. If it's already on PS4. You can get Ram Squaddled and play it. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> this man really just said Ram Squaddled. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm <laughs> really checking you to ask the kid at that slide. This man really just said Ram's card <laughs> and tried to. Okay. Uh, I like how he tried to play it off like we were gonna, we we're gonna let that slide. Yeah, no, I, I was, no. Good try though. Good try. Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, you gotta get Ram squad when you play games from uh, Giant Squid. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, okay there now. was Flower. There was um, Abzu. There was a. Uh, the other one, I forgot what the first one was. Yeah, they're, they're all really good games. You can get a little bit round squaddled. Uh, you're trying to remember the games they had? Uh, I'll click it right now Jersey, and I'll just I'll get the list. Them. Flower, uh, Sky Children of Light. Was Rhyme? I think Rhyme was the one. Rhyme, I think. I'm only seeing Abzu and Pass. Firewatch. So. Yeah, you're, wait, you already said so. that. Okay, so okay, yeah. Um, so what I'm asking right now is, say, you know, the console is like eight hundred bucks. Like realistically, like well, then that's me highballing, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like eight hundred bucks, right? And how many games did you say you were gonna you're gonna get? You're gonna get what? Demon Souls. You All say? right, so let's list them out. Demon Souls. Demon Souls one. Okay. Mm. Gran Turismo, Gran yeah. Turismo two, yeah. Mm-hmm. Spider Man, Horizon. Horizon. Four. Well, no, I've never picked up Spider Man. He says no. He oh, said okay. no. To oh, okay, Spider-Man. okay, okay, okay. So three, so three. Uh, I think for yeah, yes. okay. Ratchet and Clank. No. No. Okay. No. I, I've never played them. Like I'm not. Playing okay. Them now. You've never played Ratchet. Okay. No. I haven't either, but I would play it. Yeah. So I'm getting it. Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. Returnal, Sackboy. No. You said no. no. Um, what do we say? Deathloop, you Bug said? Snack? Nope. Deathloop, yeah. Deathloop, that's four. Yep. Ghostwire. Ghostwire, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe. I'll, I'll see. Okay. Uh, Godfall, I don't know. Goodbye, Grand Theft no. Auto. Hitman 3, Hitman. You on said, day you, you one? Said, no. You said, well, you said you were going to get it, though. You said you were going to get it. Okay, maybe maybe not day one. But yes, I would get it. And this guy was super excited about the sweat, so maybe. <sighs> I don't know. Two K, it might be a present, but like, no, nah, I don't know. Um, I don't think you said so wait, okay, Resident Evil. Getting... Yeah, Resident Evil. Yeah. Resident Evil. So seven. Seven. Project Athia. Project Athia seven. seven. And that's it. Yeah. So you can spend, and we're assuming about a hundred bucks. Like, really, say I think it's gonna be like. Ninety. It's might be like eighty. I want to say eighty. I want to be that's like a good hearted person and say it was eighty bucks. Eighty bucks a game. There's no way. Before tax or after. 80 before or after tax? Before tax. Oh, so that's still 100 bucks still after tax. All right. <sighs> yeah. Because how much are games now? Like okay. six, 70 something. 79, 70, 99? 70, 70, 70. Like in the 70 range. 70 with before tax and tax. everything. With tax and everything, right? No, no, I think it's before tax 70. Oh, you know oh, what? Yeah, yeah you're right. Before. You're right. 90 bucks. 90 bucks. So what are we looking at? I'm saying 90. Well, not 100 because they're not going to make money. Because the second they know when people see triple digits, like, they're not going to buy it. They're not going to buy it anywhere. Like, Nintendo like is suffering bill, right now. Nothing. Nintendo's that's charging, like, bill. 90 bucks for a game, and, like, they're suffering. And it's not even that good that's, graphics. So, like, Nintendo... That's, like, always been, that's always been Nintendo's problem. Yeah, like, yo, well, you know what? Like, With the economy in, the, in, in, it, in it as it is, I don't know if they can play the price game. Like, I'm, I'm telling you now. I don't think they can play the price game. If they can't play it, people aren't gonna play, like, buy. People are gonna well, buy. They made it. that mistake with the PS3. Like I don't think PlayStation, especially in this economy, can play the price game. Wait, you think they're not gonna go over a hundred, or they they are going to go over a hundred? I don't know. I think they have to keep it the keep it the way it is right now, right? Like in terms of what the PS4 games the prices are are. Yeah. So you're right? you're thinking they're gonna keep it at eighty? 80, I would think so. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, I'm they trying can't. to say that as well. Yeah, they're not gonna try and put it at triple digits because no one's gonna want to spend that money. 
No, I don't that's actually not right now. Like that. Yeah. Okay, and so for console, saying 90 bucks a game, that's a lot of money. I will pay 90 bucks a game for a PS5 game than a Nintendo Switch game. That's the reason why I stopped playing Nintendo Switch games. That's true, but if you're still paying like, he's get, this man's getting seven games. I hear you. Yes. It's seven games, but you know what? Seven games over At a span. 90 bucks a pop for a $700 system. Look, this is the reason why I'm getting the non-digital one. If I'm when I'm done with the game, I'm gonna trade it for another thing. EB right. Games and GameStop and look, are out of business. PlayStation Four, I, I'm not keeping them. My PlayStation Four, <laughs> I'm gonna be trading it in. When I'm upgrading to the PS Five. I will trade it in. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. That will also take help with the cost of getting it. But yeah, like I said, GameStop and EB Games there are out of business. You know this, right? What are you talking about? Those companies, like their business model, like sucks. Like they're based on on like you know people wanting to trade in, and because like you know their trade in values are so bad. Like you, like if you're th- talking about like actually trading in, like selling it to someone and then getting a PS Five, then maybe like you know it's a good move. Oh, so I'm a guy who likes my hard copies. I'm, if I'm getting a hard copy, I'm not planning on trading it in. Well, talking about Abraham though, like on his case. Like he like he doesn't <laughs> apparently he doesn't give a shit, right? He's like what? I don't have sentimental value. Let me just like you know, give away all my consoles or trade away my consoles. Yeah. I'm if so it's bad. a good game, I keep the game. Trade away the console though. Then why keep the game? You're never gonna play it. No, I know. Simple as that. <laughs> like just just have a picture of it. No, no. Okay, so okay, I feel like you don't know where I'm coming from. I I have two PS4s just to let you know. I will trade away one of them. Okay, sorry. Background, I have two PS4s. I'm going to trade away one of them. The other one I'm going to keep. Simple as that. Okay, so so you're still going to have one. So we're, we're, you still have access to one. So, like, that doesn't... You spent the extra money anyway for an extra PS4. Yes. You are actually the 1%. What are you talking about? Who has more than one PS4? Uh... Who has more than one of like I you don't know, know. each console? We don't know. <laughs> In you have group? two PS. Like okay, I'm I'm not gonna expose of what you have right now, okay? Because we're recording. <laughs> I have a switch. I have a switch. I don't care. Expose you all you want. I don't have a lot. Of no, I, no, I'm not gonna switch. expose this individual specifically because you know yes, but you know here here's the thing. I don't know who he's talking. A about lot of right people. Just... A lot of people. You know. It's a lot of money, is what I'm saying. Okay, yes, it's it a is. lot of I money agree. for for people. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a lot of money for people. Um, what I'm saying, <laughs> is, what I'm saying is like, when is can. is it realistic to like say, I'm gonna spend eight hundred dollars on a console? No, it's which not. is probably which is yeah, which is probably like mm-hmm. low balling. Now that I'm thinking about think it, buy, I don't think this person is gonna buy this anyway. What okay no what what you're thinking about or what I'm thinking about is like the dollar to hour value of these games because at a hundred bucks I'm not trying to play a or a play game a dollar per hour even playing a, a game for a hundred hours at a hundred bucks isn't enough for me you know what I mean like to me no, it should be yeah, ten to one just, yeah, you, ten like, hours if per you're dollar casual, do you, if you're a casual like you play this game put it down for a bit. And you don't pay for like another week. Do you want to pay eight hundred bucks for a system? And guys, it's in Canadian dollars that we're talking about. This let you know. Yeah, that is true. That is true. It's, yeah, still, it's, still, it's, like, it's, regardless it's, of the currency, it ten dollars to the hour that I'm playing, right? So if I'm pay, um, paying ninety dollars, it better be what was it nine hundred hours that I'm playing this game? Yeah, that's fine. I'm a grown ass man right now. Do I really have time to sit down and play a game? That's a good point. I hear you. Like it's very hard to like put that. Like, well, one people, some people can argue the fact that um, that they have subscription models or whatever now, don't they? Rent the game or whatever. But do you think that this will be offered on the PS Five? Right. Not talking about renting. It's like buying the system. Like buying no, the even system. No, like like yeah, like even buy the system. Like put all these hours into a system, which is fine, right? Because you're gonna be playing games. The higher cost of the game, like the harder it is to justify buying a game, because you're only gonna be playing it for so long. Like playing, mm. like playing a game like COD, uh, um, like without DLCs and everything, you can still play the game for hundreds and hundreds of hours, 
because it's like a standalone game that you can just play. Um, a game oh, I like I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay, but a game like Final Fantasy, right? Like it's still ninety bucks, eighty bucks, whatever the cost is, without um without DLCs. But you can play it oh. for 60, 70 hours and be done with the game. And unless you're a hardcore fan of the game, like, oh, I'm gonna keep playing it, that 60, 70 bucks is less than a dollar to the hour. Get it? I get, I get what you're saying. I get it, because I only bought the Switch for Pokemon, and I just play Pokemon constantly. Exactly. And I like it. Yeah. Like, like I hardly ever touched, I hardly ever touched freaking Smash Brothers. Wow. Like, I and I spent like I 80 cool. bucks on that. I feel called. No, but I'm saying you like Smash. No, I'm not calling you out. I'm saying you like Smash Brothers, right? So yes. it's like you like it, you're gonna keep playing it. I yep. like Pokemon, I'm gonna keep playing it. Like if we okay, let's okay, let's say a Spider uh, the new Spider Man game is what gonna be what ninety bucks? Mm-hmm. We'll call it ninety bucks, yeah. We'll call it ninety. Yeah, and it's not even like a direct sequel, it's like a spin off game. You're gonna play it, beat it, and you're probably gonna put it down. Yeah. And like maybe they'll give it DLCs, maybe not. I don't think they are because it's gonna. But be... that's more money either way. So you just spent ninety bucks to play a game for like however long they... for like ten hours. Like I said, in these times, it wouldn't make any sense, right? But then I think you know, honestly speaking, I think this is where PlayStation might have something going for it. Um, they have that digital version, right? For the people who do you want still to spend ninety bucks. I I okay okay hold on, but do they not have a rental service? PlayStation does not have a rental service that they can start using that, and then you're basically playing, paying the same amount, and maybe not the ninety bucks every month, obviously, or whatever single game, but for multiple games, right? Or a rental service. Sorry, I think that would justify these costs that people would be assorted for, and this is the reason why they, I think, they have that digital model, right? Everything nowadays is moving towards some sort of subscription service, right? Remember how we had in our previous podcast talks the Google Stadia, right? If this is the future of gaming, I I think the fact that the game is getting expensive would probably make people move over to that business model. Right? Renting? Yes. Subscription and renting. Oh, it's, not, what's, what's that thing it's, not, it's not Steam or whatever it's called. You mean Google Stadia? No. What's that thing that everyone uses now? What? Stream or whatever, or Steam or whatever it's called. Steam. Yeah. What about Steam? I'm sure. Can you rent games on? Can you rent games on that? On Steam, I think you can. I've been I haven't used Steam in a while. But what's your point? Like. Uh, no, I'm saying like there's already a rental service that people can use. Yeah, there's already one on PlayStation. Mm, you know, okay. Uh, here, wait. Okay, let me. I'll bring. I have. I have another thing that we can do. Um. Mm-hmm. But wait, sorry. Uh, I'm talking about subscriptions. Subscriptions. I think I wouldn't do it. I would. I could. I want to have the games and like have the freedom to come back to it without paying a fee. Like yeah, that's there's it. always that rush with rental. Like you I, have to play the game. I will want to lose it. Yeah, exactly. Like I like when I play when I play games on Steam. I buy Steam games when it's free, or when games come out for or or like whenever whenever it's on a sale. And so I'm at Epic right now. Epic is giving away free games. Like they gave away like Overcook, which is like a fifteen dollar game for free. Um, even if they have sales on like Overcook too, like I bought it for like twenty bucks the other day for on the Switch. Uh, I don't want to pay another fee. Like say I pay fifteen dollars a month, twenty dollars a month, however much it is, uh, to play a game, and I say I stop playing the games. I want to have the freedom to still play the game. Right, I want. I would rather have a like a one-time payment to play this one game rather than pay thirty dollars or however much it is to have access to very bad games. Let, let's call it what it is like really bad, not finished games, and mm-hmm. say have better games behind another paywall. Mm. No, I hear you. But, like, honestly, the way I see the market is going, the reason why these games are so getting more expensive is to push you towards these sort of services. I honestly think, think so. The fact that I'm seeing the, dig- the digital version of this tells me so. Like, I'm not sure. Can you, do you not, do you guys see where this is going? Like, I'm just telling you guys. 
the game's getting as expensive as they are. It's taking us in that direction. Yeah, okay, they're taking us in the direction, but you know the subscription um, model is they're going to have bad games. The so, only way wait, it works bad is if, games. Okay, you, pay, you pay, it's an unlimited rental type of situation where it's like, they give you like six months of renting that thing, of that game. So you nope, have six I, months I, to play that game. No, nope, but I hear you. Like, I, okay, so going back to what Ryan was saying, when you, when you have that subscription model, yes, you know what? You will have bad games. But if everybody decides that, you know what, buying a game is not worth it anymore, I'm going to the subscription good games are going to soon be part of that business. Right? I think so. I I don't understand how they're paying the developers with these subscription models or the renting services. I don't think right? they are going to be paying developers at all. They have to buy a license to do it. No, that wouldn't make any sense. Wait, well, license... To, like, because, like, when you explained it before, it was it's a streaming type thing, right? So, yes. technically, they're streaming that game and... They would have to charge more per subscription to pay these licenses and in the end it's probably going to cost the same per month rather than the one-time fee to pay for a game that you could play all the time mm -hmm. because these like the good games that we're saying like are most most likely triple a studios or really good um early access and what you will get are a lot of early access games Okay, so basically, a streaming game would be worth it if the game has replay value. That way, if you're charging customers by the gameplay each, then it's money in their pockets, and for them, and for the consumer, it's more time for them. Okay, so some games like where I got triple, like triple A games that have really good stories that you just finish and one done, done, then. It doesn't make sense to have them play that because once a game has been played, you're that's it. You put it away on the shelf, right? Doesn't make for sense for to have those on there, and that's why you probably won't see those really good games on there because generally they have that. You know, they, you can only replay it so many times, to my understanding, right? Um, no, like well, no, what I'm arguing is that you want to play a game again, like you know, like if it's a one done game and then you want to play it again. Yeah, you um, have you're that technically you, no, yeah, but you're technically paying a subscription, yes. right? And yes. that would only be worth it if you're playing with other, you're paying it with other games that you're going to be playing with using that subscription. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Um. What? Like when there is a subscription, like say, for you know a lot of replayability, like say with COD, mm -hmm. I think that would be better for people. Like, that's when people would come in because, oh, I'm playing this all the time anyway, right? Like, they would be fine with that. But then, over the course of a little while, they would be like, no, I don't want to. Like, I've been playing this game for so long. I only use a subscription, um, like, say, $15 a month, whatever. And it's past, like, a year or so where it mm -hmm. would be more than the amount I would have paid just playing the game. Or buying the game standalone, sorry. Yeah, no, uh, okay, yes, yeah, so then I can see, so basically these would be the little, small, tiny, what do you call them, little things that need to perfect, of how you can basically replicate a the traditional format, right? I don't know. Or maybe have the, your consumers drop them all together. Not sure. Yeah. Here, I found another list of like yeah. other games that are coming for the new gen. Mm -hmm. So I'll put it up right now. Um, Destiny oh, 2. Oh, like these are yeah. the works. Uh, bad game. Uh, don't get it. I, I finally <laughs> uh, got cured. I went to, um you know, meetings about it. And I, I finally stopped playing that god awful game. Yeah, you're one of the few um, people that were playing that game. Congratulations. Um, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Uh, that one. Uh, Fortnite. Yeah. Bright Memory Infinite, no idea what this I don't is. Know what that is. No idea what this is. Dirt Five, which apparently is a mm -hmm. really big game, really cool game. That's um, big. It's just a lot of driving from what I've seen uh, in playthroughs. <laughs> it's just literally yeah, a like a straight line, or like you know you follow the arrow on screen. But I think it's cool. 
Mm, this is for the Xbox. It's a lot of it's for Xbox. Um, score. Yeah, score. No idea what it is. Uh, yeah. Don't know what this is. Okay. Well, Corves again. I don't know what. Madden twenty one. Yeah, that's 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 the one that Xbox has. They have Madden. Madden's cool. You know, I never heard anything bad about Madden. It's kind of funny. Madden is a cool game. Yeah. So, I don't know. Madden. Honestly, I Vamp- think Madden has better mechanics than two K. Said it. Okay. Oh, moving on. Exactly fine. Vampire the Masquerade. Oh, yeah, I don't know Xbox games. What the hell is this? Uh, Call of the Sea. Don't know this either. Okay. Looks like narratively uh mystery game. Actually, find oh that's kind of cool. I mean, you got to see yeah. some plays, some playthroughs. But yeah, Ascent, um, uh, sci-fi, dirty high tech cities. Mm. They're comparing to Cyberpunk. Okay. Huh. I mean, Cyberpunk didn't come out yet. Oh, Cyberpunk. Why is it not part of that PS5 list? I don't know because it's gonna come on PS4. I don't know if they um have it for PS5 yet. I'm there, as, I don't think they have this right. They're gonna have to like port it for PS5. I think. Definitely. Honestly, Scarlet I would probably Nexus. get it. That guy looks like someone from Sword Art Online. Anyways, he did. Whatever. He did. That tripped me out. He has one arm. <laughs> Question mark. I don't know. So we'll we'll can you see this? What? Cool. Second extinction. What is that? It looks like a shooter. Honestly, you could probably name some of these, and I could look at the oh, title screens. I could FBS tell you they're like an Xbox game. Yeah, no, and look, FPS. Okay, that the weather shooter. All right. Eh. Yakuza, like a dragon. What? Yakuza, Yakuza. It's a Yakuza game? Okay. Uh, Halo Infinite. Okay. Halo, Already obviously. Like... Oh, Warframe. Is this the same Warframe or like the new I think it's, I think it's the same Warframe. All right, there's Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk's okay. coming. I think it's coming for both, right? It has to be. They're like, there's no way. Uh, like, I, if I were PlayStation or Xbox, I would tell them, please do not, do not, Sorry, do make a one for the new game, new co- game console. Just to make sense. Finally, here, you, um, you, here, you. um, we'll become expecting me more smart delivery, allowing people to upgrade their Xbox One version to the Xbox Series uh, X for free. Okay, I think I, the PS4 I, should do that as well. PS5 or Sony should do that as well. Okay. Like that I, mean, would, I think I would do something like that as well, like going to the PS4. Honestly, speaking. honestly, this should have been a thing for so long because you already have. Um, a person's email and like their um, their what do you call it? Their accounts, right? Account, yeah. Yeah, so like you know they have this game. Just let them get the game upgrade for free. Come on, because Come like on. what's going on? All right, um, we'll see. What's the next one? Gothic. No idea what this is. Looks cool. Yeah, but I don't know. No, this is the same Rainbow game. Six. Same game. Same game. Okay, well, skip for me. But like, I think it 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 could look really good. But oh, then again, this matter. type of game, you don't want a lot of graphics because you want to kill the other guy. Uh, Senwa Saga, I Hellblade. I don't know, maybe. That's a maybe for me. Maybe for me. I've seen the other one. But maybe for me. Yeah. Okay. Can we quickly talk about the next one? Like This game. Oh, really? Looks really, hmm. really good. Like it's so different Wait, from a, all the other Assassin's Creed games. Already. Was it gameplay already? I I did not hear about it. I didn't there wasn't see gameplay. It. I think gameplay, but like the um trailer. There was a trailer um or announcement trailer it was really really yeah. good. I also watched Vinland Saga before this came out, and I was just yes. Like I would buy bought it because I watched Vinland Saga. I think this should be a game. I, this wasn't on the thing. Yeah. So I guess they're going to be waiting to pour it over. That would be cool. Oh, well, we'll see. I mean... All right. Well, that's interesting. Out, well, what's this one? Outriders. Outriders. Co-op know. shooter. That's... This one, I saw some gameplay. It's very heavy on skills. Like, it's a shoot. It's a third-person shooter, I think. Um, cool. Uh, okay. And yeah, but it's an RPG at the same time. That's interesting, actually. It's like a border. It wants to be a Borderlands, but yeah, and you got a lot of cool skills. But I think it's mm. a lot of spamming of skills, and it looked like the bosses. They're just bullet might, sponges, like oh, versus like actual out. mechanics. I might check this one out actually. I uh, to me, Lord it's a pass. of the Rings, Golem. Golem. 
Come on. Go sorry, Gollum. Gollum, come on. Sorry, I I, I apologize. I no. so I tell you the truth, I do not know much about Lord of the Rings. I don't know if I'll start with this. I have no idea. Um, you guys will have to tell me about this, but I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> I, might I think the last Lord of the Rings games was cool. It was the um, what was it? You had like a. Oh my god, like an ethereal ghost with you. I don't know what it is. Remember, like the undead, like in Lord of the Rings or whatever. Yes. Yeah, I you had that. one of those. Yeah, and then you could like take over like castles and stuff. Like it was fun. Like, I watched gameplay. I never played it. Yeah, Gods of Monsters. Yeah, what do you think of a Lord of the Rings? I've only seen the movies. Okay, well, should give you an idea about the game. I would say, right? Not really. Wow. Okay. <laughs> no, not like movie, like movie game, like movie games are never the same as a movie. I agree. Well, okay. But games what about movies this? are usually pretty good. Great games about it. Hold on. Games about. Oh wait, yeah, they did display this in E3. Not really. Yeah. Gods and monsters. I don't know. It. It to me, it didn't. I don't. I didn't know where it was going from it. Like I have no idea. I'll have to see when it does come out. This. One, I don't remember this one. I remember it was the last year E3. Like I remember now. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have remembered it till I read that. Regret, but I don't know. Uh, I, it, it's more like a, I don't know kind of thing for me. Like, well, I guess it, it looks like an Xbox game. It does really. It's weird. I don't we'll know. See. But this one, this one, I'm excited. I I would probably drop a bag for this. Really? I drop a bag for this. Okay. Yeah. This is what we'll this see. this like this series, the Battlefield series, is what got me out of the COD type of feeling, and like I'm so happy about it. Uh but we'll I don't I mean, like the World War Two aspect of it. I really, I don't. Okay, I don't hate it, but I'm not into the old old war aesthetic. Like yeah, I totally like modern played. warfare guns a lot better. I like current generation weapons a lot better. Yeah. But not futuristic. That's when they like start making like nonsense up. No, for me it's a uh, we'll see. Um, skip. It seems yeah, like I, yeah, I don't know. For me. Watch Dogs, I guess. It looked I mean, promising, but then it it looked kind of dumb. Like I thought about what the gameplay could be, because. I think the only new mechanic is that once you die, you technically just go over to a different person. And, like, that's cool, but then I feel like if it's not fleshed out enough, it wouldn't it'd just be another Watch Dogs game. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. I'll, I don't know. I'll, I'll wait for the reviews and I'll, I'll we'll see. What's the next one? Oh, wait, really? World Rally really? Championship. Hmm. Okay. Could be. All right. All right. I don't know. I mean, might be on the list. Well, I'm not sure. If I'm stuck in Gran Turismo, like I'm. It's PS5. I mean, I'm that. Depends on what you could do. I want. I'd have to like see which ones I could get. Dying mm, light. Right. Dying light. What else? Is dying light. One was cool. I never played it. It looked fun, but I don't like horror games. It scares the shit out of me, man. Like I like to enjoy my games. From I don't know. I would say put a, a horror game on your on your Twitch. If I if I get if I hit a hundred subs, maybe. All right, you guys hear that, right? Let's get Ryan to a hundred subs. So we can see him wet his pants, all right? Got 100 right. subs. I'll play PT. What? I haven't played PT yet. I was, I was too scared. Okay, fine. This is a start, I guess. All right, guys. Let's, let's, go, let's get him to 100, all right? Mm, we'll see. It's easy. It's easy. Come on. 100. <laughs> no. Everwild. That was my suspected Xbox Series X. What the hell? Okay. All right. I don't know what this is. Too colorful for me. The next for me. It looks like uh, a Pokemon. What's the Pokemon? It looks like the, the legendary. The legendary. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, right. It's a Pokemon. I don't know. The, I'm, I'm the, the the 
why Pokemon, I want to say. Oh, I know the I know what he's talking about. Yeah, it does. Yeah, right? Um, okay, Starfield, whatever the fuck. No idea. What happened to that, um, what do you call it? Um, space civilization type game. What was that? The one on PC that has, that's been in development for years. It's called Star... Something. Starfield? Star, not, it's not Star, Starfield. Wait, there's about Star Trek? No, no, it's not Star Trek. No, Star oh, Citizen. Right. Star Citizen. Oh, wait, not that. Okay. Is that I even out? Game of the Dragon. I was supposed to be in the film. Did that ever come out? Which game? I remember that game that was like delayed forever on PlayStation. And it was a kid with the dragon. Oh, yeah, no, they just like didn't like. <laughs> I don't think they brought it out. <laughs> like, oh, shit, did it come out? Shit. I think it's still in development, Star Citizen. I don't know. Is it really? It's been in development for years. Like, since 2003? What? Oh well, it's fine. Um, Elder Scrolls, which is what? No idea when it's gonna come out. Oh well, GTA Six. Uh, they didn't announce it, so this is like all speculation. And I think last one is FF Seven Remake. This already came out. Uh, if it ports on to either the Xbox X Series X, I don't know, or the PS Five. They're waiting. I think. I think it was made for next gen. They just like dumbed it down a little bit because if you saw like the rendition, it looked kind of weird. Yeah, that was all that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not sure. It looks okay. I'll have to see. I mean, that's if all the, if what they're promising all the looks is good then you know what we've got a good selection of games honestly better than when how ps4 started but it really depends on what they are offering right away right so... but yeah i'm excited to see what they got it's gonna be pretty cool i'm ready i'm ready to fill some classes let's do it <laughs> well, i think um no like i'm i just want to play horizon is the big one on my list ratchet and clank is the big one on my list and which one was? There's another one here. I think yeah, there's only the two ones. Though. What? PlayStation has like a very long longevity with their system. They do. I think it's every yeah every seven years they release a new set system. Like that's pretty good. I didn't realize that. PlayStation is the better system. That's why. <laughs> like seven years. Still going How many? How many times has Nintendo switched the system in seven years? They have a um, identity complex, is what they have. Oh, remember that the Sasha that was the Wii U. That that oh, was um that was a mistake. <laughs> like we don't talk about mistakes. That's a that's a whole documentary right there. It's uh, always, it's always been. Like where did we go wrong? You know what well, I'm excited for? I was excited for the um. Um, what do you call it? What, what adaptive sensors is that what it's called on the controller? The dual sense, what is it? Come dual on. shock? No, it's uh, it's, yeah. dual shock. It's, a, it's called dual shock, yeah. It's called dual sense, yeah. So you could like feel like what you're shooting or the triggers a lot better. That sounds like dual shock, but better. It is better. So I'm excited for that. I, I like to feel the strength of the bow when I'm stringing it. I want to feel the trigger when, you know, I'm pew pewing these noobs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know uh, if you're thinking that much. Uh, I don't know. Like, you might as well get VR, but like, whatever. No, VR isn't there yet. Oh, that's another thing. That's another thing, David. Uh, talk about like the whole like PlayStation setup, PlayStation Five setup. What do you mean? How much that's gonna cost? Like the headset. Remember, like oh they yeah, the headset. Like, yeah, like they headsets, a bunch. At least I wanna give them like I wanna give them credit. Like the headsets at least like you know hundred ten bucks. So that whole setup is gonna probably run you like what fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred bucks. Like what? I don't know what the remote's for, but okay. There's a remote. Um, what else did they have? They had a camera. 
The camera I get. Yeah, they did have camera. I know I, you're okay with that camera. You don't need a camera. Honestly, don't really need the headset. You just put your own. But you know, the the mics on the headsets are actually really good. Like, cause I have the PS4 headset from before. Really good. Yeah. Well, I'll be super excited for the whole thing. And also, don't forget, guys, you gotta get a 4K TV. Oh, so that's another. Oh. I mean, 4K t- uh, to be fair, uh-huh. 4K TVs are pretty cheap now. They go for they like five, they cheap, 500 man. bucks. Like uh, they used to be like in the thousands. But and... I'm saying like that. You just you just ran like two thousand bucks on a whole system if you're getting everything. Yeah, but you get like one of those UHD TVs. Oh. Like you just gave away like, month a month rent and some. Yeah, just and for some. A system. <laughs> Other PS5 topics, or I think for now we're good. I'm just gonna say this right here. I'm getting a digital version because you know I like, I enjoy and treasure the memories I build with my consoles on my systems. Wouldn't that be a reason to get the physical copy? Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I I just don't trust digital anything, so I'm just gonna get a physical copy. Well, all right. Like I just don't trust like. One day I just lose everything and I'm upset. Yeah, that is true. All right. Do you guys got any more PS5 topics or should we end it here for today? I think we're good. We already went over the time limit. Once again. We never have. We ne- okay, we had. After episode one, I think we stopped caring. <laughs> we, stopped, <laughs> we just don't care. Anymore. Yeah, so, I was like, hey, let's try and finish. Let's try and finish before seven thirty. It is eight oh seven. Oh, we're good. All right. Yeah. Well, let's end it here then. You guys yeah. got any, anything to say? Anything to say? Black Lives I... Matter. Yeah. Support the movement. Xbox sucks. Team Blue. Anything. Um, you go white, blue, and black. Um, if you are gonna get the ps5 um don't forget you can also get the decal on your controller of your favorite waifu's panties and if you really want to um you can play with your ps5 chan as long as you want as long as your parents allow you to um please play responsibility um (laughs) what i don't know what i said play responsible with responsibility (laughs) what it's it's been long (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Cool. Abraham, hey, anything? Also, uh, if you go get your PS5 wifey here, that's wifey right there. Let's let's get a let's get a you know, sort of a what do you call it? Like a like a some sort of vote saying that we need a pla- black with red lighting what? PS5. All right. Oh, vote. That explains why. You- he wanted me to get those stupid Jordan shoes. Remember when I showed the which Jordans I used to get? And it was the black, blue, and white one versus the black and red one. I think there's something for post <laughs> for right. post podcast. So I think uh, yeah, we're gonna cut it right there. Thank you guys. Uh let's just close it out. Uh yeah, like we said, if you want to put in a vote, uh what kind of PS5 you're gonna get, the um original one that I have on screen, or what was the one? The one all black and blue or the all black and red whatever color that is i think those are like fake honestly um yeah don't forget it's never too late to um start being good christmas is on the way um ps5 is coming out around that time uh you're only halfway through the year Just stay good uh, make sure santa gets you your console uh yeah so we'll be here we'll see you guys in episode 12 peace